Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, April 11th, and it's raining cats and dogs here in southeastern Pennsylvania. 56 degrees, so not terrible, but wet as can be. Oh well. Pipe's just gone out, but I'm smoking some Pegasus in this uh, Tim Hynek. I call it a short billiard. I don't actually know if that's correct, but uh, yeah, to me it's a short billiard. And you don't see me smoke this pipe very often. I know I've shown it off a couple times here. I, I, I think it is just an absolutely gorgeous pipe. Um, yeah, Cumberland stem. This uh, <laughs> just kind of a neat thing. The the Shanga Dorman actually, you can play with it. Um, I don't know what you would call that. There's free rings in there. The rustication is just incredibly deep and craggy, and it feels just wonderful to hold this pipe. Uh, the reason I don't smoke it very often is, as you can tell, just by the thickness here and the potential heft. This is not a clencher. Um, it, it, this is a pipe that you hold in your hand and, and, and you smoke it, and, and that's great. Like I said, I, I think it's beautiful. I love the way it feels in my hand. This is a pipe for sitting back, relaxing, and not doing much of anything else because clenching it is, is not, not really an option. And I don't have many pipes like that. This might be the only one. Uh, so I've made this my Sunday pipe uh, with the idea that Sundays are going to be more relaxing days. I'm not going to be rushing around trying to get things done. I'm just going to have time to sit back and relax. Of course, that rarely happens. And I don't think it's going to happen today. But the reason I'm smoking the pipe today is I've been doing a seven-day series on Instagram showing each of... started Monday and uh, went through each day I put a picture of my seven-day rotation of pipes. I don't stick to that. I'm, you know, I'm not religious about it, and I actually will pick up other pipes during the day. So this, I will probably smoke this morning and then be done with it, just because I'm, I got other things to do, and I'm not going to be able to just leisurely enjoy a smoke all day. We'll see. And if I missed it, it's uh, it's Pegasus, and. Uh, Thank you, Elva. So what I wanted to talk about today is this Briarville Magic Sauce uh, Pipe Stem Oxidation Remover. Uh, I'm, I'm going to probably do a blog post about this because I wanted to get into a bit more detail about what oxidation actually is and you know, why it's so difficult to get it off the stem, and maybe even ways to keep it from getting on the stem in the first place, uh, which is probably the more, more useful information. At any rate, you you saw I was using this, uh, I don't know if it was last Sunday or maybe last Wednesday, and I, uh, I had just gotten it and I planned to use it and I wanted to update you on how it works. So I've got some pictures I'll put in here and uh, try to give you some idea of what this does so you, the way that it, well first off it comes without any instructions so if you order it you're not going to have any instructions i sent an email to rich at briarville he very quickly responded with uh, simple instructions put it in a tupperware container put your stem in leave it for a couple hours overnight if it's really bad when you're ready, open it up and right in that container with a toothbrush, scrub off the the uh, the stem, and then dry it off, and you're done. That that that's where Rick's instruction stopped. So I did that. I was a little worried about you know. So the first stem I did, I did not have those instructions. I left it in for a couple hours. I ran water and scrubbed it under running water and it, you know by the time I got it dry and everything it was it was kind of oxidized so I, I, I thought this isn't 
this isn't working at all. But then I got Rick's instructions. I followed uh, Rich's instructions. Sorry, Rich. Followed them, and it actually did seem to work uh, pretty well. So I'll show you some pictures here. The, the, this first picture is the stem before I've done anything. And you can see the stem has a very uh, consistent, fairly deep layer of oxidation on it. So I thought this would be a good challenge for the oxidation remover. So I poured this into a small Tupperware container. And by the way, this is the color after cleaning two stems. So it does darken and gets gunky. And what Rich said is you can keep using it until it gets too gunky and then you order more. So I poured it into a Tupperware container, put the stem in, put the lid on the container, and I left it overnight, so 12 hours. After 12 hours, I opened up the container uh, with a toothbrush in the container, so, it, so I didn't take it out, I didn't run under water or anything, I just scrubbed it with that solution right into the container, uh, wetting the toothbrush in the solution and, and you know, really giving it a good scrub. I then toweled it off, so no running water, and I immediately coated it in mineral oil. And I did that, I let the mineral oil soak in for about an hour, wiped that off, and I took another picture of the stem. And you can see it is actually remarkably effective at removing uh, that discoloration, which is great. You know, that's, that's sort of uh, what we were hoping for. However, if you, I'm going to zoom in, in in another picture here, same same photo, but I'm just zooming in now. If you look here, you'll see that the surface is kind of rough, and um, I'm not saying that that's necessarily a bad thing. If this was my pipe and I just wanted to get it smoking again, I would probably take this to the buffing wheel and be happy with it. But when I buffed this, it just didn't get that that glossy black look that folks expect in a in a well-made ebonite stem. Uh, so what I wound up doing was uh, micro mesh pads, and I you know did about five grits in micro mesh, starting at the coarsest and going down to. Uh, whatever the, the fifth one is in the series. I'm sorry, I don't have the... Starting at 1500 and going down to 3600. Keeping in mind that these grits are micro mesh grits, not sandpaper grits. They're, they're different beasts altogether. So 1500 to 3600, and that was sufficient to uh, take it over to the buffer and finish it off on the buffer. And I'll put a picture of the, the finished pipe in here to show you so that you can see how the stem looks. Uh, it's fantastic, you know, really, really is perfect. So the bottom line on this stuff is if you use it correctly, um, and by correctly, I mean pretty much that process I just described. If you are willing to do some micro mesh work on it after it's all done, and then buff it, you're going to have a very nice looking stem. If you're expecting to have something that you're going to dunk it in a magic solution, rinse it off under running water and put it back on the pipe and smoke it, that's not going to work. Uh, nothing's going to do that for you. So, you know, this is, this is definitely a help for deeply oxidized stems. Uh, what I like most about it is it, is it allows me to protect the shape of the stem, any stampings, anything like that, which is a big deal for, for a guy who's doing restoration work. So if you got a buffer, if you've got the uh, micro mesh pads and you don't mind spending that time, then this is probably a great option for you. If you just want to use it to, you know, get your pipe stems black again and you don't care about a shiny glossy finish, then by all means try it out uh, again. An over, well, maybe not an overnight soak if you don't have deep oxidation. I, I needed an overnight soak on that stem. Uh, but remember, scrub it right in the solution. Don't let it dry. Don't let. Don't get it wet. 
because the water is going to create more oxidation. Uh, keep it wet with the magic sauce and as soon as you got it all clean just wipe it off with a paper towel and get some mineral oil on it right away. Cover the whole thing with mineral oil, let it sit for an hour. That seemed to really help a lot. If I didn't do that, it would it would reoxidize. So yeah, I I think overall I recommend it. I it's not it's not the magic uh, solution that I thought it was going to be, but I didn't think it was possible for for that thing to exist, and sure enough, it doesn't. But it is a wonderful product, and I highly recommend it. Okay, so what else is going on? Um, things are moving along just fine here in the shop. Uh, just finished up a big order that I'll be shipping out hopefully tomorrow. I got to box it up later this afternoon. And I've notified the next in line. I've got a pipe I'm going to try to start working on later today which is a uh, pipe from my buddy Johnny Ford. I've been wanting to get to this for a while. I want to do a video series on it for Johnny. Uh, so something to look forward to, I hope. And beyond that, I'm going to sit back, smoke my Tim Hynek pipe, and watch the rainfall. Well, guys, I hope you all are having a nice Sunday. Looking forward to a great week ahead. With that, I'm going to say uh, goodbye and we'll talk again very soon. Bye now.